Hello, it's me, Jimmy Rick. So the question is that is Bradman University online degree worth it? Let's find out by jumping to the screen. Here we are, the Bradman University. First, let me see is a public or private or semi government. So, Bradman University is a private non profit regional accredited institute. Okay, it's a private non profit. Mm. At the end of the non profit are also for profit. This is one of the misleading term. Non, I mean, if you want to start a new business, you want to earn some quick money, just open a non profit. Whatever you're gonna open. Okay, now let me see what kind of degree do they offer. Okay, blog, art, science, business, education, less went with business. Like bachelor. Okay, even they have a campus, but for the online, let's go with information system management. This seems a little bit cool. But what are the fees? First, let me see the, the curriculum. Okay, principle of accounting, principle of accounting to mm, microeconomics, nothing like special there, legal bullshit introductory programming for business major to be honest with i could not find something like serious in this degree let me see the tuition fees for it tuition fees okay okay here we go so the tuition fees is like student 500 dollar per credit so how many credit do one degree have let's uh, let me see okay for like a bachelor for example like again the information system which is online okay curriculum so need 120 so 120 times 500 I mean, you will be like ridiculous, lastly stupid by wasting your money on it. I mean, to be honest with you, I never heard a name at the end of the day. It's not like super famous, it's not worth it. Please save your money, it's not worth it. Now, back to me. As I've shown you, the Bradman University is not really worth it. Please, please, please save your money. I mean, if you're looking to get a business degree, please, please, please stay away from it. You don't need a business. At the end of the day, it is a big dilemma. People take a business degree to start a business, not to get a job. Pick up this book 501 Business You Can Start. Or I will be putting a link in the description box below of a power of habit change your bad habit yes this is a bad habit which a lot of people are now having you need a degree to be successful in life no you don't need a degree to be successful in life two things you need money and knowledge again two things nothing else money and knowledge at the end of the day if you have money start your business if you don't have a money get a job in mcdonald's flip some hamburger and then start your business i want more more entrepreneur you know why i hate women's going to college i i'm against women's education to get a degree here's why i want women not to spend and waste their time in college and university rather than start a business i want more women entrepreneur a lot of people think that i hate women they do not understand what i'm trying to say if any woman is watching i want you sister to start your own business. I want women to be CEO. I want women to be the owner of a small business. I mean, if you look into like German economy, the word is like mission, uh, mission, uh, mission tank or some mission tash, mission tash, which is some, uh, which is like how, how to say like small businesses. After graduating from high school, they go to vocational, they learn the skill of trade and then work in a small business or so start their own small business and then you see Germany is booming. USA is going down, 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 down due to the huge market is, uh, how to say, saturated by the graduate. There is less demand for the 
college graduate and there's more graduate out there. For example, for example, there's 100 job per year, new opening. Mostly not new openings, always 100 job because if you see, I mean, a lot of people get fired, something 100 job. There's 100 graduate this year. Okay, the first year everyone can get out of the second year, same 100 job. Another 100 people. I mean, or there's like new opening, 20% new opening, 20% is still a high number. Okay, the next year 20% opening, so it, it means 120 jobs, 100 people are already working from last year, so 100 new graduate, so which means that the second year graduate, only 20 people can get a job, 80 people will go unemployed. I hope you get the logic. Please do not waste the money of this crappy, I mean, university save your money. Go and do a vocational skill. Go to a third world country and then learn vocational skill. Learn trade skill. And they start your business. I hope this help you at the end of learn. Never stop learning, never stop learning, never stop learning. And keep going on, keep going on, keep going on.